Have you ever made a dream come true? And if yes, was it how you expected it to be? <clears throat> Hi fellow American! Do you know how some of you think all European countries are the same? Well, that was once where I thought about different states in America. I took the bus and I just get in the bus and I'm like, hey, you know, because people are so nice in Memphis, they're gonna say, hey, but here they just don't do the same. You know, like they're more cold and I just, I was not prepared for that. This is me as a teenager. I had one dream, go to UCLA. Three years ago, I made this dream come true. This year, I'm going back with my friends and we're gonna try recreating some memories. Let me take you along this journey and my favorite spots in the city. I think the intro is always the weirdest part, like having to say hello, I don't know why it's so weird. I'm actually a little bit scared to go to brunch by myself. I don't really don't want to go. I mean, I want to go, but I don't really want to go. I mean, it's like, a, I don't care. I, I think I care a little bit going to the restaurant by myself, but I need to fight, fight the fear. You know what I mean? Fight the fear. And uh, it's going to be, it's going to be okay. I'm just, I took a little book, took some stuff and we're just gonna enjoy a little moment by ourselves in the yeah i don't know where i'm going yet i'm gonna figure it out because that's who i am i'm an adventurer oh i'm sorry oh yeah So we are to be here. Uh, first, people are watching me. Usually, I speak French when I'm vlogging, so uh, I don't feel so weird. Uh, now people can understand what I say. I haven't brought sunscreen, so I can't really stay very long. And I have some stuff to do, so I will need to head home right now. But it's so nice. It's so weird. Like, just like, I just can't get over the fact that I was here in this period of my life where it was like transitioning so much and like. I didn't know what was going to happen and now I just live in Memphis um, and like my life is just so completely different that it just seems like it's a, a whole new person you know that is coming here and in the footsteps of someone that doesn't really exist anymore I mean it's just so crazy to think about and um, yeah anyway um, I haven't told you but lunch was great it was so good uh, it was a little salad, I think that's what I need right now, like uh, um, just something uh, light with the, the with the heat. I don't want to eat something too heavy and we might go somewhere more fancy tonight, even though it was quite fancy, especially the price. This is where it all started. We're gonna go have lunch in the nice uh, falafel place where we used to come. I'm so excited. good stuff we used to come here all the time and eat this uh, falafel bowl for less than 10 bucks when we were broke as students mm. is it as good as in your memories oh yes
So this place behind me is where I uploaded my first YouTube video. That's where we used to live when we were living in LA. It's a sorority house and like it was completely random that I came here and I ended up being with like, like we ended up being like seven French girls uh, who all get along, got along like so well and they kind of uh, were the one that uh, convinced me to start this YouTube channel. So I think it's very, I don't know, it's just so... Like it's uh, kind of uh, emotional to be here right now and uh, just to see this house and just to visit all of those places where we used to go and just uh, live there and just I feel like now my, my life is so much different and just I can compare myself from a few years ago and uh, the, the progress is, uh, is huge. And fun fact, the, the, house, the house mom, that's what they call it, she, I bet she would uh, not, be, not be happy to see me in front of the house right now. <laughs> and she would probably kick me out. After a little tour at the UCLA store, which is the best university store I've ever been to, might have been the only one, but it's just so cool. Like you can basically find whatever you want. We went to the this little fair, which was fun. There was some music, some booth. Um, I didn't buy anything because it's pretty expensive but uh, it's just some cool activity and it's just nice to spend some time outside we later went to my favorite chicken place it's a uh, right on santa monica and it's so authentic um, they have great chicken and the inside is just like uh, you just feel like you're in the caribbean so i really like it and head it up to my favorite activity in la which is watch the sunset it's just what i was doing like at least twice a week when I was living there and it just reminded me of the old times they have like the best sunsets and it's just so pretty I like the vibe and of course to stay in the cliche side of the thing we ended and the, the up fair Don't forget to subscribe <laughs> Thank you for subscribing and hit the thumbs up. Uh, I'll be, be making videos very soon. And bye! <laughs> <laughs>